Hi, I'm Ken, a librarian here at PCC. Let's talk about how to use EBSCOhost. You have a topic that you want to search. How can you use EBSCOhost to find magazine, newspaper, and scholarly peer-reviewed journal articles on your topic? After watching this video, you will be able to access EBSCOhost from the library website, search using words that describe your topic, identify the types of articles in your search results, and use EBSCOhost tools to save, print, and cite articles. EBSCOhost is the name of a company that makes databases containing articles from magazines, newspapers, and scholarly peer-reviewed academic journals. EBSCOhost databases can be general or cover specific topics such as education or science. Today, we'll use EBSCOhost Combined, which searches many of their databases all at once for articles on any topic. Let's see how you get to EBSCOhost. You need to access it from the library's website so you can sign in with your PCC LancerPoint login. Start at the library's homepage and click on Databases. Here is an alphabetical list of all the databases that the PCC Library subscribes to for you. Go to the letter E for EBSCOhost, and there you'll find EBSCOhost Combined. When you click it, if you're off campus, you'll be prompted to log in. Enter your LancerPoint login ID and password. If your login isn't working, contact the library and we'll help you out. Here's the EBSCOhost Advanced Search screen which is right where we want to be. Let's make sense of this together. Think about your topic. Let's say, for example, that you want to research climate change. That's the central idea for your topic. So, put it in the first box. But, what happens when we search that? We'll get way too much information. Articles about every aspect of climate change all over the world currently, and in the past. Maybe you've already thought about narrowing your topic. What about climate change do you want to research? Here, we're telling EBSCOhost that we want to find articles that mention climate change and that mention crops. That should narrow the results down and make them much more manageable. Here are the search results. EBSCOhost sorts them by putting the best matches on top. This icon next to each article tells you what kind of publication it came from. The most common types are academic journal, which are scholarly, peer-reviewed articles, periodicals, which are magazines, and news, which are mainly newspaper articles. For each result, you get the title of the article, and, in the small print, information about where that article came from. The author's name, in yellow, the title of the publication, magazine, journal, etc., in green, and the date it was published, in purple. Below that, you will see the link to actually read the article. When you see a link that says full text, that means click here to open up the article and read it. Once you're looking at an article, if you want to save it or share it, don't use the address at the top of your browser window. Don't bookmark the page. Instead, use the database tools on the right to email, print, or save the article to your Google Drive. There's also a handy cite tool that will generate a citation that you can use at the end of your paper. Here's some good news. Most of the article databases that PCC subscribes to have an advanced search window similar to the one in EBSCOhost, so you can adapt this technique when you're searching elsewhere. Need help? You can get 24-7 chat assistance or make an appointment for a phone or video conference consultation. Go to Ask a Librarian from the PCC Library homepage. We're always happy to help. 